Let's talk more World Cup, shall we? And Arturo Martinez started the tournament as Argentina's main striker, but it's a Manchester City player who's been the main support act for Lionel Messi in front of goal. Because he has had a massive part cast to play <laughs> in Argentina's tournament. Four goals he scored uh, in six games in Qatar, two of which came in that Croatia victory as, as well. Um what is he, just 22 years old, broke into the City squad this season, having obviously joined mm. um, in the summer. What have you made of his World Cup? Because everybody focuses on Lionel Messi. But like I say, he's been, he's had a big part to play and you just feel this is a player that's going to have a long international future ahead of him. Yeah, I mean, look, City had openly admitted they spent a lot of time chasing him and let, allowed him to stay on loan, didn't they, at River yeah. Plate. Yeah. Uh, 14 and a half million. I know, what they spent, still, isn't it? Look, they were obviously were signing Erlen Ireland, and when they got that deal done, it's been interesting watching from the sidelines his, his appearances for Man City as well. Saw him against Nottingham and Forest, he got a brace, he was brilliant on the day. Um, he reminds me a bit of Jul, Julginio when he, the Middlesbrough one. Oh, the, yeah. the lad that, you know, very slight, but it's got great feet, moves, trickery, never stops running. He's got a little bit of Jorginho in him, that, mm. that sort of player. Mm. Um, and you can see there's goals, Nat, that's going to come. The way he plays the game, his enthusiasm, desire. And I think he's the perfect foil for Lionel Messi because Lionel Messi is quite static for a lot of long periods and he runs everywhere. I was just about to say that. He has all those runs that if Messi wants to pick him out, and we know Messi can pick him out with some of the, the balls that he plays, He's they work so brilliantly together. Yeah. And you mentioned it earlier, then you've got McAllister as well, who's added an extra sort of forward impetus as well for them. Yeah, the, between the three of them, they don't offer really much of an aerial threat and you're not going to no. get loads of crosses in. But if you get to the byline, like he, Lionel Messi did, and then he pulls it back, he's going to have one of them tappings that he's, you know, mm. he's going to get a lot during his career. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. It's lovely to see young lads who are given an opportunity because that big move can be transition from going from, you know, Argentina and then going over to, uh, coming over to England and then start his football career. And it's a scary prospect for him. You know, even as a young lad coming in, coming to a new shores and playing the game, uh, having the backup of a World Cup and going there being second fiddle, fiddle because uh, Latero Martinez would have been number one choice to play uh, most of the tournament because he had such an indifferent tournament. He was given, and fair play to the coach, the Argentinian coach, he changed it pretty quickly after the Saudi Arabia game. Mm. And from there, it's been all uphill for them. Yeah, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? Like you say, you've been involved in those situations where you... You know yourself maybe being a first choice yeah. striker, and then you find yourself out of the team because somebody else has come in who has taken their chances. Yeah, well, I, I happened to me in uh, World Cup '90 where I led Ireland and was our top goal scorer in the qualifying campaign. Yeah, two games in, I, I got dropped, and I didn't play particularly badly. We had a, a bad game against Egypt where we were all bad, but Jack decided to make a change. Played Noel Quinn. He scored against the Dutch, mm. um, and history. So you can't argue with him, you know. You can't have two bad games. I remember, I remember Gianluca Vialli in World Cup 90. He went to that tournament as a massive star for Italy. By two, three games in, Scalacci had taken over. Yeah. But, but like you say, you know, you, you, especially with tournament football, everything is so compact, you cannot afford to carry players because you just need no. your best players performing on the day. And, and Alvarez has certainly taken his opportunity. Yeah, well, he certainly has. And it's been a really exciting. You know, one thing he's done is... He's added to the momentum of Argentina because they looked quite an uncertain team. I mean, I saw them against Italy in, in the game in the summer, the champions of South America against the European champions, and they were clearly the better team, Argentina. Mm -hmm. So I thought they'd probably do really well in this tournament. But as it got closer to the tournament, they weren't quite as good. Di Maria got out of the team. His form had gone. There has actually been quite a number of changes in forward areas for Argentina. Dabala, who's another great player, not playing. You know, McAllister's in front of Dabala.